Raxaz versus Pinkroid. It's time for, for match two, set one of our semi-finals. It's pick and ban time. Let's get it on. Here we go, Summoners, best out of five. Raxaz versus Pinkroid. Oh, semi-finals, Volantis, Oliver, pre-bans. Oh, interesting stuff. Pinkroid decides to pre-ban the Volantis. He fears that unit, and of course, one player is always going to pre-ban Oliver, and that is going to be the player that isn't taking the first turn. There we go, Pinkroid taking that tablet first pick very, very quickly. We saw Raxas use tablet earlier on. Raxas picking up the Maw and the Chunk Punch. We know that these two players have extremely similar play styles. It's no surprise to see them digging in each each of those boxes. Almost as soon as the match has begun, that tableau being a first pick from Pinkroid is a huge surprise. Usually on the ladder you would never see that, but this is SWC with pre-bans, you knowing what the other player plays, and we know that Laxas loves to use the tableau himself. Exactly right, boss. Here we go. Pinkroid drafting up that Dominic Marshall for second and third unit, paired with his first unit tableau, Raxas. Third and fourth unit. Whoa, oh, Shizuka and the Zerath. No way, Killer. No way. Zerath. I love to see it. Let's see if this Zerath is going to do some serious damage. We know it's a really good combination with the Shizuka, actually. If Zerath gets taken down, Shizuka can just revive him and use his skills. Yeah, but we know Zerath has Pinky's trademark and Rexas has taken it away from him. Pinkroid with the final two picks. What will he... Uh, Fill in in those two slots. Goes with the Jemaya and the Esha locked in for a Pinkroid. One more unit to pick oh, up for Rexus. right. Rexes. Yes, yes, yes. Pinkroid really wants that first turn. What is Rexus going to do to deny that first turn? Is he going to bring something like a Leo? Is that going to be enough? Damage mitigation against the pure aggression of Pinkroid? He's gonna have to because I don't think Raxas can do anything to steal the first turn from Pinkroid because he only has one speed lead and no unit to help him take the first turn like an attack bar booster. There we go, Raxas picking up that Trident for the final unit, locks it in, the bands. Curious to see what it will be. Well, how wrong I was. He is going to take out. I think the Triton pick up signal is a ban on the Escher because the Escher is the only unit that can really stop the Triton. We saw the Zerath getting banned, the Esha getting banned. Both players opting in with 24 speed lead. Who is taking this first turn? This is our first set. Two friends playing it out. Best of five. Trident with the first turn. Will he manage to strip and push back? Goes or oh, manages to strip everything. Marsha cuts in. Oh, fast link onto Trident. Misses the defense break, but has the wheel up more with the rolling spike. Gets the stun on the tableau. That is a nice stun on the tableau. It was unfortunate that tried to miss the attack by reduction on the masher, but it doesn't matter. He landed the all important strips, and that is a huge proc killer. That's what we call a luxag. These both players say <laughs> that word. Shizuka, all things in and the nature. Oh, Trident with the skill to AOE silence goes for it. Lands that on Jemaya as well. Two turn silence on all four units. You could call it a lack sack. You could call it pure skill. They also like to use that phrase. And it's looking like Raxaz is in a very, very dominant position. I cannot see how Pinkroid could come back from here. There we go. Who we go? Chung Punk taking a turn right now. He's thinking about where he will direct his damage. Goes on to the Dominic. Shizuka, past life spell. Will he use it on himself or one of his units on the field? Goes on to the Chang Pang, gets an additional turn with the skill one, possibly shrieking that Masha. No, it goes on to Dominic. Yeah, the Dominic can do some serious damage. Glancing does not affect the damage he deals on his passive. So he wants to take out that Dominic first, especially because it also leeches life. There we go, huge additional turn, giving him an opportunity to take out that Trident. No, directs the damage onto Chang Pang. Marsha takes out that Trident with the skill one. Fast link is, uh, I mean, <laughs> yes, available from. Ah, oh, Marsha goes onto the Chang Pang. Yeah, she's saving her second skill in order to use it on Chang Pang once he doesn't have immunity on her himself anymore. So, Pinkroid is actually the first player to wow. take out a unit, but it doesn't matter when Chang Pang procs. Wow, Chang Pang with another additional turn. Serious matter, possibly changing this whole game. Here we go, Shizuka with another additional turn. Oh, past life spell. Will he put it up on Chang Pang, reducing his skill cooldown? Masha, will you take out that Chang Pang? 
Well, I can't really see how Pink Cord can make his way back from here. It looks like this is going to be one of the first sets that Pink Cord has has to drop in the entire SWC so far, and is to his good friend Rexas. It certainly is. I mean, feathers. Pinkoid losing the first game, huge, yeah, yeah. huge. But at the same time, I mean, how pivotal as well, Baus, was the Triton getting the very first turn there and how much that influenced the game. Because I feel like cause they both were battling to be the first yes. to move. And with Raxas getting that advantage, it was it was a really great start from him that couldn't be stopped. It was a really, really smart pickup from Raxas. Triton doing a similar thing that Woonsad does for Ismo, allowing you to take that first turn even without the speed lead because of his high base speed. And it was I thought he might pivot, have to pivot to second turn, but having the Triton available to him meant that no matter what Pink Road banned, Raxas was most likely to take that first turn. Take that first turn he did, and he landed this stuff, Chung Pung proking as usual and amazing, just amazing. amazing. And we saw earlier in the competition as well, um, in the uh, earlier rounds, the Pink Roid, I mean, we saw how devastating he could be. We saw Guts the Berserk at the, you know, at suffering, courtesy of how much damage, if Pink Roid gets that first turn, how much damage he can, you know, put onto other players uh, if given the opportunity here. Do you think that's Raxas's main tactic here is to just always try and stay at the forefront, to try and be first? Yeah, well, it seems to be working and that's what he did and it worked, so... Continue or not? Yeah, I think the pre bands and the and the band, you know, the picks will take a, you know, tell us a lot about what's going to happen in game two as well. Uh, we jumped straight in. It was quite fast. That Pinkroid lost that very first game, but Raxas knows that he'll want to come back swinging in this second one. Uh, let's see exactly which units are we taking into game number two. Exactly right, Adam Pinkroid dropping that first set since EU prelims to the cup. Here we go. Pre banning phase is in now. Raxas versus Pinkroid. It is advantage. Raxas with one a zero. It's a really interesting situation in this match where Raxas and Pinkroid both share the Razarath, but on top of that, Raxas also has the Volantis. Pinkroid does have the Tianlang, but Tianlang is not super, super strong in this matchup because there's not so much attack by increase units, only attack by reduction, <laughs> apart from the more. Oh, okay. <laughs> more and more get banned out. Pre banned. <laughs> they wow. both looked at each other and laughed. We're even less likely to see the Tianlang in this match now. Or the more. We won't all see the them all. We won't we're, see them all. We're, we're very, very, very unlikely, almost impossible to see them all. Raxas with the first pick, picking up. I'm not sure what unit he's going to go. He's actually thinking about it because both players do have a similar play style. So whatever he picks up first, we know Pink Roy is surely to counter it and pick up another unit that he doesn't have. Raxas goes with the Oliver. Pink Roy goes with the Shizuka. Possibly a Shizuka Juno. He took the Juno out. Yes, Switch. indeed. Really, really interesting draft indeed. Ra Oliver, this is one of the first ever matches Oliver has gotten to see daylight and Raxas, of course, picking it up immediately. I'm really surprised that Pinkroy did not pre-ban the Oliver. And there we go, Pinkroy picking up Shizuka and Marshall for the first and second unit. Raxas taking his time to consider the, the draft against Pinkroy, Praha and Chang Pang again, Chang Pang. We saw that Chang Pang violent proc so many times in that last match. Why not Chang Pang Praha? Such dominant units, both with an AOE strip, both with ability to do a really powerful crowd control uh, third skill and some really nice damage from additional damage artifacts. Rax has managed to pick up th three of the most dominant units in the meta at the moment. There we go, Ping Road picking up Chiwu and a cigar for third and fourth unit. That is very interesting from Pink Roy. These both players are taking more time to decide what to pick than the matches themselves. Wow, a Chiwu. A Babu liked to pick up the Chiwu earlier. It didn't work out super well for him against Raxas, but Raxas has dug into Pink Roy's box so hard already that Pink Roy has to resort to a Chiwu. He has to resort to a Cigar. What are the runes like on these units? We know Pink Roy has incredibly strong runes and artifacts, but he's really having to pick up some less uh, commonly picked units now. There we go, Raxas picking up the Miles and Volantis for the final two units. Pink Roy brings out the Douglas for the final unit as locked it in. Pre ah, the Benz. 
Oh, we love to see it. The Douglas is is Raxas going to ban out the Douglas, or is he going to rely on Praha or Miles, whichever stays in the match to take out the Douglas? Is that a must ban or is it not? Pinkroid is really difficult for him. He's probably going to have to ban out a water unit anyway because he is so heavy on fire. Miles or Praha, that is the choice. And waiting to the last second, Miles gets the ban. Douglas gets the ban. Oliver speed lead. Chewy speed lead. Locked in. Raxas with the 33 speed lead. Pinkroid with the 24. Percent speed lead. It is 1 0 Raxas's way. We got the Chiwu moving first on Pink Roy's side, managing to only strip two out of the four units. That is huge. Masha follows up after this Chiwu. Ooh, do, oh, additional turn! Almost taken out that Valentis. Really unfortunate for Pink Roy that he missed those two strips, but he had a nice proc on Masha. He was lucky that Valentis did not revenge. So uh, RNG has gone both ways on this occasion. There we go, Shizuka with all things in nature available. Oh, look at all the debuffs Shizuka has put onto Raxas's side. Chiwu doing some damage onto Valentis. Masha taking out Valentis. Oliver going onto the Shizuka. <laughs> Chang Pang, another additional turn. Pink Roy sitting very comfortable with all that will. We know that the Shizuka Masha combo is a really, really threatening one. Even though Pink Roy has had to pick a Chiwu, it was a nice pick. It made sure he got that first turn, managed to do some good damage into that Volantis, which has now been taken out. And Pink Roy is looking really nice indeed. I, Paraha is Raxas's main way to deal with that Masha, but I don't know if that is enough at all. Oh, this is so exciting to see Chiwu sleeping that Chang Pang with the skill one for two turns. Masha doing some serious damage onto Oliver, landing a defense break. Oliver putting that damage onto the cigar because he was provoked. Here we go. Chiwu with the skill one again. Oh, oh, landing another sleep onto Oliver. Masha, another violent turn taking him out this field. Wow. Just wow. Pink Croyd might have had to dig deep into his box to pick up that Chiwu and pick up the cigar, but it didn't matter because Pink Croyd's rune depth and quality is so high, as is Raxess's, of course, and absolutely doing their work. Some really nice speed, really fast Chiwu there, and Pink Croyd is looking in a dominant position now. I don't think I've seen that Chang Pang take one turn. Every single time it was additional turn, but it doesn't matter because Masha has taken him, taken him out of the field. Here we go. Pink Croyd. With a comeback, it is one all Pink Roy versus Raxas. Yeah, it really is there. Pink Roy there showing who is boss. Coming back straight away there, and Marsha strong. But interesting, Oliver's finally allowed to enter the arena there, Bows, but cannot get, uh, cannot get a chance to move because he's stunned. He can't do anything, and therefore it's cost Raxas, and it's now 1-1. Yeah, absolutely. The Chiwu pickup was pure genius, just like the Triton pickup was pure genius from Raxas in the previous match. We're getting to see these high, either the speed lead or the high base speed AoE strippers with attack battle reduction. You don't usually see in matchups where players like to pivot. These two players don't really like to pivot. So they <laughs> just are competing for turn one. Whoever gets turn one often does the thing. Yeah, it's, I mean, we've heard a lot from like, kind of the, uh, the 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 videos we've seen of different players. You know, they like to, you know, like Barber was saying earlier on, he likes to be like turn turn two more aggressive. Here's two players that just off the front foot just want to go out swinging and just make it count straight off the bat, finish games early, and that's why they always seem so dominant. They get a chance to move early on, uh, Killer. They they yeah. they make it count. It's exactly they're swinging at each other. He swings, she, he swings, he swings, he swings, he swings. <laughs> it's just it's just like that. No one's pivoting. It's like a digital sword fight. Yeah. It's just back and forth, back and forth. Yeah. We'd love to see it. Uh, right, Pink Point and Rack says now 1-1 one, one apiece here in the semi-final. And uh, we're on to set three here. Three games left, potentially two. All depends who can take the next uh, the next uh, couple of matchups. So let's see what happens here. It's time for the pick and bans. They're going for being the first turn. They're going for speed. Let's see what happens. Bows Killer, take it away. Summoners, it is one all best out of five pre-bans are in. We've got the Olova and the Valentis pre-ban. We've got Pink Roy drafting up that more for his first unit and locked in very quickly. Pink Roy mixing things up. Previously, he first picked the Tableau. This time, he does want to pre-pick the more because more just has more in his kit. Literally, uh, <laughs> the Water Ryu because he has the AoE strip attacked by reduction. And Raxas now has lost a unit that is clearly key to his draft. I wonder if he's going to pick up the Tableau really early. I would love to see those runes on these units. Raxas picking up the Tableau and the Chang Pan. Oh! <laughs> For his first and second unit, Pink Roid, <laughs> Taras Lea Flex. But he's just having some fun. But will he actually pick him? I mean, 
It's not a bad uh, pivot, no. not bad at all, but it's not really Pink Floyd style. And it's too much to gamble, I think, to pivot this early on, Killer. There we go, Pink Floyd picking up the segment and the Dom for the second and third unit. I do like those picks. Interesting that he picked up the Dominic rather than the Masher, because the Masher could is now available to Raxas if he wants that unit. He also has the Praha available, that hasn't been taken yet. But Pink Croyd is looking like he is going to get that first turn either with the Sekhmet or with the Maw because that speed lead helps his units take some extra speed. There we go, Raxas drafting up the Praha for his third unit and a second to go. Gets that Escher out, locks in the Escher. Pink Croyd gives him a look in that camera feed. He's like, oh, that's my Escher. And he locks it in. Pink Rod goes with the Leo. Will he draft up an Antares? I'm not sure. Not sure about the Antares. A Diana will be a little bit better because there is a Praha on the field. But forcing Pink Croyd to pivot, that just shows how aggressive a player Raxas is. How many players can force Pink Croyd to pivot like that? Raxas is one of the few. It wasn't Antares, but it was his brother Douglas. Oh, no! <laughs> He brings out that Oh, Taurus. yes. Antares. Beautiful. Oh, that is huge. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to see this match. Pink Rod picks up Leah and Antares for his final two units. Raxas has one more pick to go. I do wonder which unit he'll pick up. A Verd Hill would be a decent pickup, or maybe just a really strong fire damage dealer to take out that Antares. Maybe a Ken is a common pick against a Leo as a counter. I don't know if Raxas has Ken ruined up, though. Uh, he brings out that Miles, possibly thinking of a Leo ban there. I does, do think that is a Leo ban. Good call, Killer. Miles is hard countered by Leo. He's giving his game away by signaling that ban so Pink Croyd can decide accordingly. He wants to ban out the water damage dealer. There we go. Leo and Miles both get the bans. Here we go. Set number three. It is one all. It's anyone's game. They're sitting there having a conversation to each other, these two players. Esha, of course, takes that first turn, goes for the buff. Praha follows up. Is it with a daydream for the? I mean, predicted future for the strip or the daydream for the sleep? He's that is really interesting. That Escher takes the first turn. It means that Raxas's Escher is faster than Pink Croyd's Sekhmet. Raxas has been finding farming that giant's keep and getting some. Uh, some swift rolls quite nicely there, but yeah, Antares <laughs> is still on the field and oh. Antares can just do his thing. Antares <laughs> taking me back a few years, it's interesting to see. Antares has already taken two turns with his passive. Here we go, Tablet pushing everyone's attack bar back. Changpang, serious matter is available. Goes for the pushback, lands some pushback on some units. Here we go, Esha. Escher is there, but Antares has not procced for a few turns now. He's a little bit overdue a proc. Escher oh. could. Oh, I told you! I told you! You spoke too soon, Antares, with his passive taking out that Changmang. This is anyone's game still. Oh, segment landing the reset. Praha does not have her heals available. Dominic. Improv oh, he's got the improvisation weakness shot. We know it can do some serious damage. Goes into Praha, dealing some serious damage into Praha. Tableau, will he roll a double? No doubles, oh. but double stuns. No way. This match is so back and forth. The Antares has been slowed and stunned, and the Praha is still on the field. And I do think that I favor Raxas in this match right now. But we still don't know. It's still too close, man. Will this Antares... Proc a few more turns. Praha with the heal available. Chooses to opt in with skill one damage onto Antares. Tablo goes onto the Dominic. Lands no debuffs. Esha with the skill three available takes out Antares. Dominic versus three units. Praha goes for the daydream for the heal. Lands asleep onto the Dominic. Tablo skill two. Oh, beautiful stun. There we go. Raxas takes it up by 1.21. Wow. Well, I mean, there we have Pink Roid there trolling us, picking Antares right at the last second. And we get so excited about it. But Raxas there managed the game beautifully, did it incredibly well there, I think, Baus, to ensure that he didn't concede. And he's just whittling away at Pink Roid until Pink Roid has to kind of just say, you know, I concede here. Dominic's only left. We've got 1v3. It's going to be impossible at this point. Exactly, exactly. We saw Pink Roid being humble about his speed earlier, saying he's slow. He's not slow at all, but he was slower than Raxas because Raxas is incredibly fast. And the fact that his Escher outsped Pink Roid's segment was the game changer. The Antares tried, he tried really hard, but he tried in vain because those procs were not 
enough to make a comeback. And Rax has just kept on doing the damage. Esha doing some really nice damage with Skill Free to take out a couple of units each time and wrapped up the win. Rax has in a really commanding position now on the edge of glory. That is absolutely right, on the edge of glory. Yes, he is. Because if Rax has come in out this next set, that means that confirms him as your second Europe Cup finalist going through to Korea and to Seoul later on this year. And Pink Royd, last year's winner, will be out. But I still think there's a lot of sauce in this one. Anything's possible right now. Uh, let's jump back in and see what Pink Royd has in return uh, against Rax as his last performance in the last round. Let's see how they pick and ban. It's back over to Bowser Killer. Here we go, match point for Raxas. It is 2-1, best of five. We've got the pre-bans coming in any moment now. We've got the more wow. and the AKA Water Rai getting pre-banned. Well, they've both banned pre banned the same unit, but this time they've not pre banned the same version of the same unit because Rex has to pre banned the Street Fighter version. But of course, that covers the Summoner's War version as, as well. well. Yes, here we go, Raxas with the first pick. Also, Rex has 2-1 over Pinky. What will Rex has draft up as the first unit? Because whatever he takes, Pinky will take the opposite of it. Well, he has to take the Oliver, doesn't he? He has to. But does he want to complete for speed? He took the Oliver last time and it didn't quite work out. Maybe he's mixing up. Maybe he'll take a Masha. Maybe he'll take a Shizuka. Who knows? Here we go. Only two seconds to decide for Rex has. What will it be? Locks in the Oliver. Pink Roy taking the Chung Pung this time around. Chung Pung and Praha locked in for Pink Royd. Wow, Pink Royd mixing things up there. Digging into two units that Raxas really likes to draft. I mean, Pink Royd likes to draft those units himself as well. But at the same time, this is going to mean that Raxas has to come up with some other strippers to follow up before his Oliver because three of his favorite strippers have been taken away from the field. Raxa is going with that. another speed, the Tabler and the Dominic for his third unit and has locked it in. Pink Royd <laughs> flashing Antares one more time. Both players having a laugh with each other in that camera feed. Really nice to see two really close friends just having some fun. Antares being a very fun unit indeed. And Ooh. Pink Royd decides he wants the first turn here, Killer. Yes, a very late first turn, deciding later on with the Tom away for the third unit and Esha for the fourth unit. I'm really interested to see how this Tomoe performs if she gets left through. She is a strong unit, but at the same time, she's not quite on the level of the Tableau, Dominic, or the Oliver, I would say. She's going to, if she's on despair, she's going to need to get some lucky stuns and make sure the other units kind of carry for the Tomoe. It's all about the execution. Here we go. Raxas picking up two very strong unit, Mars and Masha for his fourth and fifth pick. Pink Royd has one slot to fill, fills it up with Shizuka, but he always changes his mind. No, he's locked it in. Shizuka has been locked in. Bans, what are we going to see? Well, if Raxas wants the first turn, he's going to have to ban out that Escher because then he's definitely getting the first turn, no matter what Pink Royd ban. Pink Croyd is really, really tough. There's so many units worth banning. The Oliver is a decent ban. The Masher is a decent ban. The Dominic might be the most decent ban. And there's Tableau as well. Honestly, I can't decide. Maybe the... My, oh, no. <laughs> if I was deciding, I'd ban out all the five units on Raxas' side. Yeah. <laughs> We've got the Escher ban and the Oliver ban. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Match point for Rax as it is 2-1. Will there be a comeback from Pink Royd? World finalist from last year. Here we go. Miles taking that first turn. Spin, grab, shot. Which unit will he direct? Goes into Shizuka resistance. No strip. Masha follows up on Raxas' side. Where will he direct that damage? Well, that resistance was huge. Not being able to stun Shizuka means that Pink Royd is going to be able to take the next turn. And Pink Royd needs to land, land these strips. Oh, Praha with the predicted future. Stripping three out of four units. Chang Pang with the serious matter follows up. Oh, Tom away. Stripping that Masha immunity. Shizuka has the chance for all things in nature. Opts in with skill one. Tom away. Skill three. Pushing that. Is it the Karma onto all the other units? Yeah, and the skill one, of course, it strips and stuns. A nice strip on the Masher. Karma actually a really solid counter into Masher because the strip on both skill one and skill two is count this, uh, the turn cycle. And actually, Tomoe synergizes really nicely with Shizuka as well to give the enemy a lot more debuffs. There we go. Plenty of debuffs on Raxas' side. Pink Royd sitting pretty comfortable right now with all those buffs. Tomoe, additional turn, goes on to the Masha, gets the stun with the skill one. Praha goes with the 
Daydream for the heal and the sleep on Raxus's side. Indeed, Pink Croyd is looking in a really, really good position. Raxus is going to need to get really lucky, or maybe if Pink Croyd manages to run out of cooldowns. But that is really difficult with the control that Tomoe and Shizuka and, of course, the Chungpung provide. Pink Croyd looks like he may well take this match to a decider, and it's going to be really, really exciting. Indeed. Chungpung, serious matter, taking out that tableau, putting Dominic Miles very, very on low health. Tomaway with the stun again, turn cycling, crazy turn cycling from this Tomaway on Violent. Praha taking out that Masha, not looking too good on Raxas. Pink Roy with a comeback. Yeah, huge comeback. And indeed, Raxas had the Oliver lead. He had two units that moved before the rest of Pink Roy's team, but it didn't matter because Pink Roy was all wheeled up and wow. was able to make that comeback with the Praha and the Changpang. 2-2. Two, two. Absolutely unbelievable scenes. We've said that many times today, and that is exactly what we just saw there. Because even though the speed lead came from Raxas there, he had the first turn there, Baus, Pinkroyd was able to negate what came his way and then just come back at him with the force of a hurricane and just destroy all his units very quickly. And there we have ourselves a 2 2. You summed it up really, really nicely Thank there, you. Adam. Exactly what you said. Because I think Pink Croyd decided to steal the Chengpeng and the Praha away from Raxas. Two units that he relies on heavily. Of course, the Maw was pre-banned as well. Th so that Raxas was really lacking strippers to move before his units. So that when it was... Um, after even the Raxas two units moved before, Pink Road was just able to take over with Changpeng and Praha. Two units that are so dominant and have such a loaded kit in this meta. They certainly do here. I mean, this is it. I mean, I think to get Pink Roy to concede here has to be on the back foot playing out, you know, for on defense there. I think that's the way to get at him rather than letting him get aggressive. But let us know in the chat, who is going all the way to the final? Is it Raxas? Is it Pink Roy? Who do we think are in the panel real quick? I mean, we may as well take a punt here because it's, it's one, of, one, one or the other. I'm thinking, I think, I think Pink Roy's going to do it. Fellas, what are we saying? Bounce? Oh. Oh, I'll go Raxas. Raxas. Yeah, yeah, Raxas. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oh. okay, all right, here we go. So Pink it's split. I changed. <laughs> He's faced! One Thick, of them. Fickle, this one. He's very fickle. Uh, right, we jump back in. It's 2-2. Two, two. Everything comes down to this. Whoever whoever gets through here to this next this next round in finals is guaranteed at least $5,000 today. Exactly. Whatever yes. happens. So yes. A lot on the line here. We're jumping in. Massive stuff. It's Raxas versus Pinkroid for the Europe Cup final. The decider to move on to the finals. Who will it be, Raxas or Pinkroid? pre bands are in. We've got the Oliver and the Volantis. Pinkroid very, very quickly picking up that more. Raxas responding with the Tableau and the Changpang very quickly as well. Interesting stuff. I wonder if Pinkroid should have considered picking up the Changpang on turn one because that is a unit that I feel like almost every time whoever gets the Changpang has won the match, not just in this, like matchup, but in many, many matchups earlier today. But Moore is also an excellent pick because he had the speed lead on top of his strip. There we go. Pink Roy drafting up that Shizuka and a Charlotte. We haven't seen him use a Charlotte. Yeah. Brings out that Charlotte and locks it in. Just shows how amazing and how flexible these guys' room boxes and locks in that Charlotte. Raxas taking the time he has available to draft up his third and fourth unit. What will it be? I'm very curious to see. Raxas goes with the Jemai and the Praha. I really like to see this Charlotte. I'm really curious. Some players use Charlotte on Swift. Some of them they use on Violent. I think a Violent one is probably what we're signaling is being signaled right now because the more is probably going to move before the Charlotte. Pinker is going to need to think about some other a second AOE stripper and maybe a second source of crowd control unless he just goes with this Leo pick, which is possibly a must ban. I am not sure. Maybe he'll pick up a Diana. Both players having a lot of fun. He drafted up that Antares as a joke. Had a laugh, then took him out, switched him out for Cigar and Leo for his fourth and fifth pick. Pink Roy has locked in Cigar and Leo. Raxas has one more spot to fill. I really like the Cigar pick. I think Raxas is going to pick a wind unit because of how heavy Pink Roy is on wind. Sorry, a fire unit rather. A fire unit probably because of how heavy Pink Roy is on wind. He has a couple of choices, maybe a Masher, maybe a Vert Hill, maybe even something like a Ken. Let's see which one he decides to pick. There we go. Picks up a Dominic. Dominic doesn't care about Elemental. True, yes, true. Yes, yes. So it's like a fire unit that he's yeah. picked up. Dominic is all of the elements, and as you say, Killer. For the bands, what are we going to see, boss? Well, Changpang would be a good band. Having that Jamaya Tableau combination on the field is going to be tricky, though. Raxes will probably ban out the Leo because Leo counters all of his drafts so nicely. Who's going to take that first turn, though? Is there Swift Charlotte? How fast is that more? Leo gets the ban. Changpang gets the ban. Tableau speed lead. 
And another speed lead for uh, Pink Royd with the more. Here we go. This is the decider. They're having a laugh and look at each other. Oh, love that a friendship here. We got Cigar moving first. We've got the great and sword and shot with skill three. Will he use it? Goes with the skill three. Man. Oh, misses the provoke. Ooh. Nice speed from Pinkroyd on the cigar and on the moor. That is huge. I think Pinkroyd is going to take this match unless some kind of huge comeback comes from the Jemaya resisting. There we go. Shizuka putting up that two turn immunity on all of Pink Royd's side. Jemaya with the skill one onto the cigar. Charlotte goes for the stun, lands the stun out of two out of four units. Dominic has a chance to take out a unit possibly here if he gets an additional turn. Oh! Gets the additional turn, goes on to Charlotte. Charlotte taking some good hits, but we know this more has some power in his punch. Oh my goodness, this match Whoa! is crazy! Praha wow! Predicted. Oh, Daydream with the heal. It's not over yet, Killer. It's not over yet because Rax has, has the sustain. Oh. And Pinkroyd does not have any sustain. This Charlotte is looking a little bit unhealthy. And oh. at the same time, Pinkroyd has already used his cooldown skills. And Rax has, has not Charlotte used his cooldown skills. Charlotte needs to sleep here. No sleep from Charlotte there. Feel like I'm watching the World Finals right now. Both players 2 2. Tablet takes a turn, rolls a double! Oh! oh, wow, onto the cigar! Oh, no additional turn. Dominic has a chance. Oh, this is still anyone's game. Dominic, where will you deal your damage? Possibly oh, that cigar. Oh, my goodness. He could try and take out the cigar. I don't know if he has enough damage to take out Not the enough. cigar. Oh, rolling spike. We saw Moore's like, damage <laughs> coming out very, very seriously earlier at the beginning of this match. Shizuka, additional turn, no additional turn. Wow. Oh, there we go. Weakness shot coming from Dominic. Which unit will he take out? Probably the cigar because he doesn't have the uh, cell protect on him, but that means Charlotte is going to be able to use her skills, and Charlotte is a very, very nice unit indeed. Wow, this is so close. Charlotte pushing back everyone's attack bar, giving an attack bar increase for Pink Royd's side. Uh, past life spell onto herself, Shizuka. Skill to stun. Oh! Manages a stun on everyone. Everyone was stunned, missing a turn for the tablet. Stun from despair, are you? More! Oh my goodness. Oh, this proud. What a match. So back and forth. Yes, back and forth the whole time. Dominic missing a turn. This is very crucial. All things in nature changing the game. <laughs> Charlotte skill one sleep. Misses the sleep more. Rolling That's spike. it, killer. That's it. Wow. What a match. Wow. Charlotte surviving by the skin of her teeth. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> Two thumbs up from Pink Roy wow. to Raxas. Two good friends. That Takes the win. was <laughs> awesome. What a great match.